Welcome everybody, if you're joining us here for the first time on Blue Collar Sports, I'm Rob Hall and this is us of the 37th Annual All Blacks. And here we have Arab United who will be getting us underway, taking on the Palm Island Barracudettes on the left of your screen. And what a matchup we've got for you here. And we're underway in our third matchup of the ladies on field one today. And Palm Island look to bring the ball away. A tough matchup first up, Palm Island. And Erev United were over on uh, field two against Rachel Sultan Memorial. Oh, and some strong defence early from Arab United. It was the Eastern Warriors that came out victorious against Palm Island. They just uh, probably needed to run under their belt, Palm Island. And already looking to uh, start faster. A lot of their work from dummy half is really where they found a lot of room to move in the first game. Drag down. Struggling, battling away to get over halfway now. Puts it on the Sheriff United, secure it, and will get their first use of the footy here in game three. Center field here for Arab United. Air United making the trip to the Bindle All Blacks. They've been uh, had a strong showing in previous QMCs and this year. Now Arish Mara there for Air United tipping on. Now that'll be Larish Mara. Strong carry. Rish uh, applying her trade for in the BMD competition. The Kai Cutters, but it'll be Irib United here. And that'll be Jante Mara scoring first points out on the edge. For Arab United. A waste of no time at getting going here. Arab United. Dan Solomon here, can add the two, moves it. One of the best kickers you'll find, Angela Solomon, playing for Western Lions here locally. You know, when we had the Marlins here, former Marlins player and uh, state champ. But it's Arab United on the board early. And that was some strong day there. 
There's certainly no easy carries in Carnival footy. There's Arab work away on the right hand edge and skipping out of some more strong contact. Herb United over halfway now. Sly Reese Mara skipping out of two tackles. Finally stopped at the 30 metre line. Set deep into the right now, Herb. And able to link up. And strong defence from Palmer Island Barracuda to be able to get over. And drag Herb United into touch. So they'll get the uh, football back. So now it'll be Palm on looking to work their way out of their own end again. Good contact in the middle. Mara drags the ground. It's uh, hard going at the moment for Palm Island. Working their way out of their own half, but that's a strong carry. Get some go forward. It's the outside backs for Palm Island at the moment that are doing a lot of the damage. And that'll be the last. Just Morrison struggling there to secure it. Gets it though. Now yeah, gets a good kick away considering she was under a lot of pressure. Off the legs. And now yeah, being brought down. Eight metres short of halfway on the first tackle. And that's Ashlyn Skeen. The fullback. We just got to play down here for Palm Island. Get back to her feet though. Just, uh, it'll be the second tackle. And Erev United in Palm Island's territory here. Five metres over halfway. Solomon at dummy half. Away down the short side. And plenty of metres after contact as well. Solomon. Jante Mara. Cho. Go. Oh, strong carry. And she'll have two. Wow, what a great start. And the number 11, Jante Mara, gets her second. So after just under 10 minutes, it's Arab United taking a 10 nil lead with a kick to come. Ian Solomon here with a shot at goal.
And conversion successful. She adds the extras and it's a 12-0 lead now to Arab United ladies. Come on, they're gonna fight their way back into this one. Plenty of support for both sides in here today. Day one. What a great start to the carnival, beautiful conditions. Heavy contact now, so if uh, I'm on looking to work through here and build up a bit of pressure, they've been strong contact indeed. Just a couple of little let offs, and there's another one where they're just allowing Arab United and uh, an opportunity there to get out of their own half. Can't offer a side like Herb United. They've got uh, strike power right across the park here. Too many opportunities. So. Drag down now, 40 metres out. Way to the left now, Irish Mara. Tips on. through the middle. And should be dragged down now, 10 metres out. Just to the short side through Solomon. Solomon now, long ball, lovely out ball. Fantastic rugby league there, just work forwards, three strong carries. And then Ian Solomon just sizing up the numbers on that left-hand edge perfectly. And Arab United, 16 now, leading Palm Island, yet to score. Short there from Solomon. Uh, just uh, 11 minutes remaining in the first half here. Once again, 
working out of their own half. Palm Island is starved of the football at the moment. As the Arab United just continue to mount pressure. Strong running from Arab United. We're getting good meters. Quick play of the balls. Solomon on the shoe and secured now by Palm Island and they'll get the opportunity now to use the football. defense good meters here for Palm Island they take it out over the 40 and they'll drag a penalty out there and that's much needed so this will give them an opportunity now to get into the Air United half Into touch, and they'll be 40 metres out from the Arab United line now, in with eight, just under nine minutes remaining. 25 minute halves, no time off. Referee says it's fine, glances off the shoulder. As they work back to the post now, Barracuda's mounting a good set of six here in attack. Just drifting, drifting across the line, looking to link up, but couldn't find any runners. Solomon there, strong in D. Drops it on the shoe, looking for a bounce, but secured by Arab United, and they'll come back the other way. But that's a good set of six. Palm on and looking to build a bit of pressure. They've got a Arab. Out the back. Be, uh, it's like Ashland Skeen. The Arab work back to the middle. Jante Mara showing again. Well, she's been massive. She's been huge in the first half. They haven't been able to stop her. And 10 metres out. As they come away to the left now, Arab United. It's been the story of the first half, Jante Mara. Yeah. 
And they lean on the drag down there as they go high across the field. Gathered in. Now this will be the last. They've got an opportunity on the short side. They come back to the middle, but the ball goes to ground. And it'll be a knock-on, so we'll have a scrum formed with five minutes remaining in the first half. out there in the sun. Luckily enough, up here in the grandstand, we're in the shade, so Palm Island doing all the hard work coming out from their own end at the moment. She's fighting for a quick play, the ball and couldn't get it, but she'll get the penalty. Just uh, ruling Solomon who hung on just a touch long there, but Palm Island and it's Maylene Nona. Strong in defence there. They'll come back. And here we go. Now Palm Islander away. Broken into the backfield. She'll come to Skeen. Puts on some footwork. Can't evade her. And it's the thumbs up in the middle of the tackle. But they'll come away to the right hand edge here. Now, Jada. Sailor there, drag down five metres out. Bronte Morrison carries, delivers opportunity. Can't quite break the line at the moment, but they're right on the attack. Erib are going to have to dig deep here to keep them out. Away to the left. They've got numbers. They link up. And... Palm Island will have their first points of the second game for them today. And it's with three minutes remaining in the half. They really fought their way back into that half, Palm Island. Had to do a lot of defence early in the matchup. They got caught down their own end. But it's been the uh, their back five work. I think it's really built them into this. So their back five have been able to pinch metres off the, off the back of that, create quick play of the balls and then create opportunity. The quick legs of Arm Island through the middle. probably would have got a little bit of help here at the sports reserve from behind but the wind is uh surprisingly low but uh, it is early in the day but uh it's it's good if the wind's down if you're planning on going out fishing perfect conditions but why would you be fishing when you can be here catching some carnival rugby league and if you can't be here thank you for joining us on blue collar sports it's an absolute privilege to uh, bring some of the action We've got both fields uh Streamed here, and you've got the Eastern Warriors currently doing battle with Rachel Sultan Memorial over on field two. You can catch all of those streams on the uh, Blue Collar Sports YouTube channel. So if you subscribe, you can set it for alerts too, and it'll let you know when we're going live. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, and all of our streams go live on there. And uh, just uh, couldn't quite secure that one, which will give Arab United an opportunity with 60 seconds remaining in the first half, and they don't need much more than a sniff. Plenty of numbers set to the left here, and it's Laurie Shmara. Laurie Shmara. Well, that's all they needed, and uh, plays like Mara, who uh, was exceptional in her season this year with... 
the BMD side. And uh, it's been a marathon the first half. So uh, Jante, her sister, the younger sister, uh, having an exceptional first half, running for plenty of metres and uh, bagging a couple of tries herself. But then Lorish back on the field. She just came back onto the field. Looks to be a little bit ginger there. Might be carrying a knock, but it's been carnival footy. She's been flat out since the end of uh, footy season uh, on the carnival circuit. But that'll be half time going in the background. And so currently, it's a 20 points to four lead for Arab United here, and Ann Solomon will look to add the extras. And she does just that. And it's 22 points to four at half time. Arab United. So a little bit of work to do for the Palm Island Barracudettes. And we'll just take a short break. We'll be back with you.
New back half of action here on field one. We have uh, Arab United currently uh, 22 points leading Palm Island Barracudas. Four. We look to get going in our second half action over on field one. If you're following along as well on uh, YouTube through Blue Collar Sports, you can follow all the action. And thanks to My Action Sports who uh, give us the platform that we uh, stream on. The uh, score over on field two, East Eastern Warriors leading Rachel Sutton Memorial, 14 points to four. So, young side Eastern Warriors, and they had a good victory here. We saw them in action in their first game on field one. Coming up for you later on today, so we've got one more, one more of our women's matchups coming up for you next before we switch gears into the start of our men's matches here today. And so uh, coming up next at 1 p.m. we have AZI Memorial will be taking on the Burdekin Delta Dolphins before we switch over into our men's games. The men's game will kick off at 2 p.m. and that'll be Jumping Gunjai versus Phantom Hunters. And a great afternoon, our first afternoon here. An absolute privilege to be able to bring you some of the action wherever you're watching from. Uh, share in the comment section where you're uh, tuning in from and catching us. Uh, and so you can send us through uh, via Messenger as well if you'd like to, uh, any shout outs that you'd like us to send out. Um, we'll endeavour to get to them and pass them on from wherever you're watching from. But uh, here we go. As we get started. With second half action, and it'll be Arab United on the left of your screen getting first use of the ball. Oh, no. Big carry. Nona back through the middle. 25 metres of an offload, good call back. Uh, 25 metres out, Senna. So that'll just hold up for a second. Centre of the field. They look to go to the left. Ange Solomon now. Plays out the back. Had a three on one, three on two, really. No, couldn't break them down, couldn't link up, so they'll come all the way back, set deep to the right. Herb United. Solomon goes back to the left, though. Like what she saw and uh, silky stuff. From Angela Solomon, the scheming half. Looked like they might be shaping to come all the way back to the right, but she just squares up, gets back on the left-hand side and is able to get a hold of some tied defence. Down the left-hand edge there. Perfect conditions for rugby league here in Townsville and the crowd really starting to build in. and likes it and you can see the flag starting to blow so the doctor starting to come in expect a fair bit of breeze down here later on this afternoon but now Arab United 28 lead Palm Island back who that's for 
They've shown what they can do with their fair share of possession here late in the half. The Barracudets. Back underway, and that will just carry too far. Just looking to try and get some footy back to try and get themselves back into this one. Palm Island, and just hasn't quite held up on the breeze, and it's been touched. Now to be Solomon. And it, yep, we will just fine touch. Will miss it, throws a hand up. Even a uh, great kicker like Ange, entitled to, to one that slips off the side of the boot. But no harm, no foul as they'll maintain possession. And it'll be Arab United back on the attack. That's uh, nearly Stephen there. Yeah, Lorish Mara hitting some strong defence. You don't see Lorish getting pulled up like that too often. It's a uh, good carry, strong D. And back through the middle. Carolyn Esley. Set out to the left now, Solomon. And they're a long way from us and they... Uh, the water on the numbers makes it a bit difficult to see from this vantage point. We're a long way away. I might need to bring the old binoculars tomorrow. That's Maylene Nona drag down. And burying the head from dummy half. And that'll be more points for Arab United. Palm Island hanging tough here. Just trying to look to wrestle back the momentum that's with Arab United. And, uh, they've got a very strong forward pack and some good outside backs. But that forward pack for Arab are uh, a real challenge to get a hold of. A, a, a smart half like Ange Solomon playing off the back of a forward pack like that. Uh, and you wouldn't mind being a half and playing behind some forward momentum like that but Palm Island they are fighting in this matchup we saw them in their previous game as well they fought their way back into it just wrestling to get their fair share of possession at the moment Another successful conversion for Ann Solomon and uh, 34 points to four now. <laughs> Just under 10 minutes gone in the second half. We've got a full day of rugby league action Coming to you here from the Townsville Sports Reserve. And kickoff secured by Arab United. Palm on there. Let's see what they can do. Building some pressure in defence. And good strong defence there, down low. I want to just come out of that touch of soreness. Smaller player on the, uh, it was a great effort to get in low on those legs. And uh, there is a knock on, which will bring an opportunity here. And that's the number one 
It was Yvette Nichols uh, Lenoy there, the fullback, who hopefully it's not too bad an injury, but she's come out uh, second best out of that tackle. She's got a bit of movement back in it. And tough cookie. Threw a head in there down low. But it'll be now. Palm Island with a great opportunity with the ball in their hands as they pack a scrum. 45 metres out, centre field. As they come away to the right. A little wraparound play. Can't find any space, but some great footwork. They look to drag her to the sideline, but they can't get her to go. Fantastic little bit of footwork there from Hayley O'Keefe. Back to centre field they come. Just looking to set some attack up. And it's Charlie's Garrett there. Tell her all that's uh, Kerry Delacour. Slow to come to her feet there. Palm Island just a little bit stop start in their attack at the moment. Set to the left. Drops it on the shoe now. That player's in front of the kicker, so just an accidental offside, but that'll give more opportunity here for Palm Island with the football in their hands. Uh, Place time off. Jante Mara. She had a huge first half. She's a little bit slow to get to her feet, but she seems uh, all right. She's going to power through it. And a good carry with an offload. Here's opportunity. But Arab United, they're there in numbers. It's the 18s, Ali Palmer. Got a penalty there for a strip. And they're stretched out to the right. Palm and Palm Island go over on the right hand edge. A sustained bit of attack for Palm Islands. And they're able to come up with points on the right-hand edge. Well, when they've been able to get their share of footy, Palm Island, they certainly have uh, looked enterprising with the ball. Just really battled to... Uh, be able to get control of it and, and, and get an even share. The big forward pack from Arab United, once they get a roll on, they are hard to muscle back. And they have to do it the hard way a lot of the time here, Palm Island uh, Barracudas, but they're fighting away. And certainly some speedsters in that uh, lineup with uh, Boisha Moore Reed and Bronte Morrison. Hayley O'Keefe as well. So there's certainly plenty of points in them when they can get a share of the football. Moves in. And the kick is short. So the score will remain. Arab United 34. Leading Palm Island 8. And this our third matchup of the day, of day one, here at the Bindle Sharks, the 37th annual Bindle Sharks. The air of United to get us back underway here through Solomon.
Gets a bounce. Can't get it to go. Well done there by uh, Jada. It's Jada Kyle Saylor, I think, looking down. It is the 22. Jada Kyle Saylor. Great job by Jada there. And draws a penalty. Playing their footy at uh, Brothers in Townsville. And just into touch. And it'll be Haley O'Keefe to take the tap here now. And some fancy footwork. Runs into Jante Mara. Playing back row at the moment, Jante. And the 25th, Kerry Delacai there. They look, they've got numbers to the left if they want to go there. It's uh, Mara. Finishes on top. It was McKean there that carried that. Set back to the right now, just looking to dance out of a couple of tackles, and it's back again. And Lareesh Mara this time over the top with... Justin Morgan taking the ground now. They've got numbers here. And here's an opportunity. And that was O'Keefe that we we're about to see set stale. And geez, he's called that forward. And uh, I don't know, folks, uh, you can check it back later on on uh, Blue Collar Sports YouTube to have a bit of a look. But looked uh, fairly flat considering what we've seen in the grand final get let go. <laughs> but uh, pull back. But there, with uh, starting to get a share of the football now. Palm Island and really looking to fight their way back into this. It would have been uh, interesting to see Haley O'Keefe, she's a renowned finisher, with a little bit of room to move, what they could have done with that. But they're starting to make inroads. down eight metres short of halfway. And Jante Mara again takes us over halfway and uh, drags a penalty for the hands in the play the ball and they look to play on quickly. Solomon Maylene Owner Drag down there, eight metres short of the line. Young Bronte Morrison in the tackle there. Now it's Lyrish Mara just short. They look to go again and out of dummy half. Palm Island are up to the task. There's been no easy tries, but uh, as I say that, Lyrish Mara just uses just a little show and a little bit of footwork. And uh, that's, they say, take the easiest way to the trial line, the shortest way. And that's exactly what she's done there, Lyrish, to get herself another try. And uh, now, 38 points, Arab United lead, Palm Island Barracuda at eight. Crowd really building in here, plenty of colour to be seen. Families coming together to watch the footy. <laughs> and then Solomon in uh, familiar territory again, this time just to the right of the upright. And conversion successful. So that's the 40 for Arab United. They lead it. 
Palm Island Barracuda, it's eight. But uh, they had their opportunity down here. They looked to get away down the left-hand edge. It was just called back as Haley O'Keefe looked to uh, add to the Palm Island Barracudets scorecard. But a couple of back-to-back -back penalties. And Arab United again march their way back down there. You just don't want to gift them too much ball, this Arab United side. And a big feature at the QMC Carnivals now here in uh, Townsville in the Vindal All Blacks. Now that's gone backwards, so but it might beat them all into touch. So Palm Island will get another opportunity to attack here. Six minutes remaining in the first half. Ball comes loose. We'll have a knock on call and it'll be called back. I think it might have been a Keith. And then dragged down there and the ball's been forced loose. And the referee's decided that he'll bring it back. So it might have been just a, a little hint of a double knock on. So Arab United now with five minutes on the clock remaining in this one. Away to the left through Solomon. And an offload. And away they go back through the middle. Bronte Morrison there. And Daniela Savage able to drag. Zanetta Cook down there. Now, the building, the building here, Arab again. Palm Island just working their way back. And Bibby Baker, 10 metres out, set to the right. Mara drops Nona under, continues on, and that is silky rugby league as Irish Mara. Place through the line and an offload to her sister, Jante. That's as good a rugby league as you're going to see on the edge. They're a handful, but strong runners, strong carries of the football. But um, a real highlight of uh, Lyrisha's skill set there is the subtlety. She can uh, definitely be a sledgehammer when she needs to, but the subtlety in her game, she's got a pass, she's got an offload. And that's uh, it's going to see her go on to higher honours, I'm certain. Uh, played a, a BMD season this year at the Mackay Cutters. Fantastic year that Lyrish has had. She's certainly on the radar of a few sides. And, uh, always willing to come back to kind of whatever level she's playing at. She's always the first person to put her hand up to come back and compete at carnival level. We saw her in action up in Bardu, the island of origin. Had an exceptional carnival up there. And she's starting off this carnival in fine form as well. And uh, 44 points eight with a kick to come. We have just over two and a half minutes remaining in this one. And this young Palm Island side We've been hanging tough. Hey. And conversion successful. So, Arab United, 46. Lead Palm Island, 8. It'll be Palm Island to get us back underway. We're just under two minutes remaining here. They go low this time. 
Mayling Nana drops on the foot and away she goes now. Oh, good contact. From the number eight. That was uh, the leader Chris there with heavy contact. And away they come, right hand edge. This time carries through the line again with an arm free, looking to link up. Couldn't find her inside. Here. No. Just come down awkwardly in that tackle. We hear the siren go on field two, which you can also follow along the Blue Collar Sports. Go to our YouTube page. Now, if you're on YouTube watching us here, you've probably already found it, but share it around and... Uh, sure you share it and let people know that we're here as the ball goes to ground. So Palm Island will have the uh, last opportunity here in this matchup. We've got 45 seconds on the clock. But yeah, send it around. The people know we'll be here on both fields for the next three days as they look to go over the top, looking for a bounce. It found hands and then found the ground. And uh, Arab United now with 30 seconds on the clock. What can they do? Drag down. Uh, and just a lot of drop ball to back end as both sides. Looking to wind that clock. We won't have time to pack the scrum as we have five seconds remaining. So it'll be Arab United taking this one out. 46 points to eight over the Palm Island Barracuda. That's a fantastic display by both sides. A very young Palm Island side in there against... Uh, well, one of the heavyweights, or expected to be heavyweights of the carnival, Arab United. And brings our third matchup to a close. So as we close things off, we'll be back with you very shortly as AZI Memorial takes on the Burdekin Delta Dolphins. Entertaining game of rugby league on both fields by the ladies. Scores on field one, Arab United 46. Fifth over Palm Island, Garrett Critics 8.